It is Oscar season again, which means LA street artist Plastic Jesus has a new Oscar statue coming out. We're here in a studio right now in downtown LA and we're gonna tag along as he unveils it for the very first time. Let's go. Every time you do a piece of street art, you're a little bit nervous. Essentially what you're doing is illegal. How long do you plan to have this up here? This is gonna be here for much of today or until we get chased off. The inspiration and focus for this year was the number of particularly women that come to Hollywood searching for fame being an actress, singer or dancer and actually end up being a stripper in a club or a bar. So that's where the name Backup Plan comes from. Yeah, I mean, how many girls would probably use that in their explanation to their friends when they jokingly move to Hollywood to find fame and if it all fails, they'll, they'll become a stripper. Can you name some celebrities who are going to the Oscars or used to be strippers? You know, there's quite a few out there and uh, they include uh, Amber Rose, Lady Gaga, uh, Courtney Love. I am an adult film star actress. I moved out here from a 5,000 population town. I moved out here concentrating on my acting and singing and I knew of a girl. She kind of offered me the opportunity and was like, there's this agency and would you mind taking off your clothes and having sex on film? And I was like, sure, I need this money, like now. What was your immediate reaction to this piece? I actually liked it. It's, it's very upfront and honest. Would you say that you connect some of your pieces to what's relevant at the moment? So you kind of put a marketing aspect to it. Yeah, it is. Some of my pieces are dependent on current news issues. So time is critical on these things. Surely any art has to connect with people. So the piece of art itself has to be its own PR. And the marketing these days quite often relies on social media. You know, if I put a piece out on a busy street in Hollywood, it will get 30 or 50,000 people go past it in a day. But if that goes onto social media and goes viral, that can be many millions of people. I'm an artist friend of Plastic Jesus. I run an art collective called The Most Famous Artist. We help make sure these things don't get stolen or vandalized. The people that walk by this piece seem more excited about taking photos of this because of its playful nature. It's seemingly less controversial to share on social media, so I think this piece will do really well. This is as good a marketing stunt as you can get. Think about this, everyone is walking around with a cell phone in their hands with a camera attached to it, so savvy artists are starting to take advantage of that opportunity to spread their work. My immediate reaction is, sex. He's finally saying something that we all think. It's so brilliant. It makes it a little awkward, like you're actually seeing someone naked in public. He takes whatever's going on now and, and applies it to art and make you think. The range of people that follow me and like my work goes from, you know, guys who are earning no money, living in shared accommodation, no job, right up to, uh, you know, hedge fund managers to, to the daughter of a president. But even if you work within government, or you work for a major bank, or something like that, you still like to think that somewhere in you is a bit of a rebel, a bit of a subversive. And I think that's why street art relates to people. Right, they were shocked and surprised when they realized he got a heroin addiction. There's a lot of drug use going on within Hollywood, and a lot of people are completely ignorant to it. A lot of your artwork uses drugs as a motif, including the piece.